Anjanette and I do bird photography, wildlife photography here in the state of Indiana. Today I am doing a uh, video on my process that I take when I do editing. So um, let's get started and I'm going to go ahead and get this photo brought up to DxO Pure Raw which is already up on the screen and I have to go ahead and hit this uh, add photos to process or you can do it that way or what I do is I just go ahead and bring up uh, my desktop and then bring in the photo that I want to work on and this is a really simple program we just hit one button so you hit the process photos button and then this box comes up uh, right here and it says uh, raw processing method so I've tried the HQ Prime and Deep Prime all, and they all seem to be about the same. So I just keep mine on the Deep Prime. And then down here it says Format and Output Format. And that's just the a format that you want to save your photo in after you're done processing it. And it's either JPEG or DNG. Now, what from what I understand, JPEG is it's already embedded all the data into your photo so uh, you, you don't have as much um, freeway uh, to process your image or do changes and stuff like that it, it doesn't do as well in the post processing and then for DNG um, I think it's similar to like a raw file so it, it retains most of the data of your photo which makes it better to uh, further edit your photo and like say Lightroom and, and things like that. So I'm going to hit um, DNG and then down here it says destination folder and then you can use a custom folder or a DX folder in the original original images folder. Today I have it on my desktop because I want it to be easy to access so I'm going to hit process and then it just takes a few seconds to process the image and then when it's once it's completed processing, it'll bring up a box that says processing done. And I'll show that here in just a second. All right, so the, here's this processing done box. And it says, what do you want to do next? You have three options. You can go to Explorer, probably to see the photo and Explorer, and then view results, which shows you the results here on DxO Pure Raw. And then you can export to different uh, places. And I just hit view results. And then it'll have this slider thing where you can slide it and you can see the before image and the after image. And it just really, really cleans it up quite a bit. All right, so now we're all done in pure raw. So I'm gonna minimize my screen. And now we have this one that's been processed through pure raw. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up sharpen AI and then up here I'm going to bring in the pure raw deep prime process image of the downy woodpecker all right and then I'm just going to drag down that and this will also show you like a before and after once it's done processing and on this program on the sharpen AI from Topaz um, I like to play around with the sliders some because occasionally, or actually most of the time, um, it'll just really overdo the processing. Um, so like it'll sharpen it way too much and sometimes it makes it look worse. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after image. Now it looks really, really good. Um, I think but the nose or the beak of the bird looks a little bit fake and a little bit too overdone. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, play around with these sliders over here. So we have some model like choices. So you have like, you can change it right now. I have it on, it's on out of focus very blurry and then you can just go ahead and click on that and I'll bring up a whole bunch of different options 
and I like to play around with this just to see if I can get a better outcome with it. And usually it's either um, usually it's either motion blur very noisy or out of focus very noisy. So I'm going to go ahead and use motion blur very noisy and see what that does with my image. And here's the before and here's the after. I think it came out a little bit softer. Um, but it still looks really, it still looks really good. Maybe a, a little bit too much up here in this part of the, um, head patch. So, and now you can just bring down the, um, amount that you want it to use to sharpen the photo and denoise the photo. Now the denoise, or the noise, I'm slider, I'm just going to leave because um, I don't want any noise or as little as possible anyway and uh, so now I'm just gonna slide down and lessen the amount of the re remove blur slider to about there and then it'll reprocess and it takes us a few seconds to reprocess see how much it helped and it didn't really do much to help it out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it on out of focus very noisy and each time you change this or you zoom in out of the picture it has to reprocess the image or render the image I should say Um, again, um, I'm Angina and I am a bird and wildlife photographer here in Indiana. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video and please um, share this content with everyone you know on social media. It will really help me out. Um, subscribe, like my video and hit that notification bell so <laughs> you know when my next video comes out. Um, I appreciate it very much and okay um, let's go back and see the image that this um, came up with here all right that's so much better and nicer and cleaner and it's not too much all right so that's a good outcome right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the save image and then I'm going to save it in DNG again. And then I have it on desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it will take just a handful of seconds to process this image and save it to my desktop. If you're trying to do multiple images at the same time, it can take quite some time to go through all of them and process them. Um, I did like a hundred photos the other night and it took three hours I think to get through all of them. <laughs> so it can take quite a bit of time. But this is not going to take too long here just for one image. And it's just about done here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click the minimize button up here. And now I am going to bring it into Lightroom to finish up the processing of this image. I have a lot of images in Lightroom. I don't just bring in just one image. <laughs> I always bring all my images in. <laughs> Probably not such a good idea because it really slows everything down. So I'm going to go ahead and um, import. So here's the import button down here. And then I'm going to hit my desktop. 
and I'm going to move this down here and I am going to bring in this one right here because it's the deep prime and sharp and AI focus process image and I'm going to hit import. Now for those who are just starting out on your editing and you want to know a lot of in-depth uh, things about Adobe Lightroom, this isn't going to be the tutorial for you. There's tons and tons of tutorials on YouTube and um, that will show you a lot more in-depth uh, of a tutorial for how to use um, Adobe Lightroom on desktop. Today is just a simple basic editing that I normally do on my images and I hope it is helpful still to those who haven't ever used Lightroom. Um, maybe just a little bit anyway, and um, yeah, so let's get started. So right now I am actually in what's called the library module. There's different modules up here in the right hand corner up on top in the Lightroom window. And the only two that I ever use in a library and develop and the library module is where you can view all your photos. You can do different views. You have the main view, which is for one photo at a time. You have uh, the compare view where you can compare photos to see if they're sharp, you know, what ones are sharpest. Um, you can zoom in on them and each individual one. Um, I don't know what survey view is. I don't, I've never used it. And then people one is like if you want to um, find people in your photos and um, identify who you have pictures of but I don't ever use that one either so back to my loop view and you can see the big picture right here of the downy woodpecker so the first thing I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to go ahead and get over to the develop module and on the develop module, you can do your basic editing and even more editing down at the bottom. There's so much more you can do in this program that I, I'm not even capable of doing because I've never taught myself how to do it. So, but um, for the basic stuff, what I do is I go ahead and crop my image and I'm just going to crop it in like that and I also want to go to a 4x5 so that's actually just gonna do what I want to do it quickly right right there and it's done on the cropping 4x5 is a good um, crop to use if you're gonna do like Instagram and things like that um, and then after I crop, I'm just going to use exposure, the exposure slider. You can change it up to brighten it up and you can darken it down by sliding it downwards or in the other direction. I'm just going to bring it up and that looks good. And then from there, I am going to add a little bit of contrast probably like four and then on highlights I am not going to bring up highlights because I don't want to clip them and you can tell if you're clipping your highlights or make it to where the data is lost by this little triangle up here in the corner in the histogram and for the histogram you want your each side to be just a smidge away to indicate that you're safe on not clipping your shadows or clipping your highlights um, and it looks pretty good from what I can tell and then I'm going to bring up the shadows just a smidge and the whites just a smidge maybe not too much like at like a four and I might bring down the highlights just a little bit more like maybe right there 
and then I'm going to maybe bring down the blacks but I don't want to do them I don't want to bring them down too much so I guess I won't be bringing them down so I'm gonna be bring them up by like two and then down here we have um, some more sliders here uh, we have texture we have clarity we have dehaze we have vibrance and we have saturation um, the ones I use is clarity vibrance and saturation saturation um, so clarity I don't want to use that today um, vibrance because we've already done that in um, the sharpen AI and the DXO pure raw so vibrance I'm gonna bring it up just a smidge so about 12 and then saturation about five and now you can see the after photo and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the before so you can see the difference and there's the before and the after all right I just brightened it up a little bit and brought up the highlights and shadows a little bit and then down here I do play with these a little bit and this is the hue saturation and luminance so for the red I'm just gonna bring up the hue down and it's not looking all that great so I'm not gonna worry about it maybe negative five and then the orange I'm going to bring down and wow that's just a little bit much but I like that pinkish color in there I'm gonna go about there so negative 28 and then um, I think that looks really good that looks amazing to me um, so yeah there is my before and there's my after and then I'm gonna go back to the regular view and then I'm gonna go back to library mo the library module and then I am going to go ahead and export and if you want to add like your signature or your you know logo you can do that by going down here I have it on new too I just made up a, a new one the other day but I have several that I've used and then once I I'm done exporting it'll show an explorer but before I do that I want to go ahead and choose where I'm going to save it which is going to be my desktop and then select folder and export and once it's done exporting I'll show you the final image and here it is there is the final image of my beautiful downy woodpecker all right well thank you again so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and notification bell so you won't uh, miss out on my next videos thank you so much until next time I'll see you later bye